Hi everyone, welcome back. Okay, so I have been kind of on the fence of how I was going to film this particular video. I was asked uh, what my ink collection was and how I chose the inks for my collection. And what you're seeing here is the majority of my inks. They sit on this little thrifted shelf that I got for three dollars. I'm very proud of this little shelf and uh, I never intended to use it for ink but it actually works out perfectly. It is perfectly sized for it and over this past year it uh, the collection itself of ink has grown significantly to what you see now and then I've got a few bottles kind of sitting here uh, the three noodlers that you see here are, they sit on a shelf that actually hangs uh, perpendicular, so on the other side of the wall here, and uh, they sit in a little glass case shelf um, because they don't fit here on this shelf. But I wanted to show you that these are the other three inks and then my ever-present Jane Austen ink, which I actually have two bottles of. This is nearly on its uh, last of its um, it's almost done, um, but I have a backup bottle because that's uh, my favorite ink. So that answers that question of what's my favorite ink. It's the Jane Austen ink by Deatramentis, my absolute favorite. But I have uh, some new favorites as well from what you see here. And maybe I'll just show you because I feel like me doing samples of the ink, maybe I can do that in a separate video. Uh, so you can see the colors of what I have. Um, but I guess I can go into why I chose what I have. The reason why you see the colors that I have here is because I kind of wanted one of each major color family that I like to write with. Um, you might see some variations of certain colors, so like different tonal values. But a majority of these are you know, one of each color family to suit kind of like seasonal needs for when I write and uh, some perform differently because they have a shimmer factor. This I actually got in a subscription box, that what was it, Mustache Stationery? I think it was. I tried that out for a couple months before they went under. Luckily I got, I didn't, uh, I wasn't cheated out of my money or anything from that subscription because uh, there was quite a bit of drama with that one. But uh, the one of my last boxes came with a J. Urban uh, ink. I can't remember what it's called, but I will link it down below. I will link all of these down below. And this one actually, it's beautiful, beautifully packaged. And the wax cap actually twists off. But this one's a shimmer ink. And so you can kind of start to see it mixed in. So it's a nice brown ink with this really pretty, you can kind of see it in the light there. It's a beautiful color. So that was one of my first major bottles of fountain pen ink. The other one was the, let's see, the Noodlers in Bulletproof Black because I wanted a waterproof black ink. So those were my first two full bottles of ink. I had a Pilot Blue fountain pen ink as well, but I donated that one because at the time I wasn't really writing with blue ink. So I've actually had a couple bottles of ink that I've donated. Um, so I have the Irushizuku trio here that came in a set. So I have Shinkai, Asagao, and Yamabudo. And those are nice little sample bottles, so just to kind of give you a scale of what they are, that's what it is. Irushizuku inks come in these huge bottles, which I had thought about buying, but knowing myself, honestly, one bottle of ink will last you a long time. I got this back in 2016 and I'm still using it. That's how much, and I use this all the time. So to give you an idea of, you know, these things last a long time that I, just to be honest with myself, I wasn't going to realistically use a whole bottle of, of Irushizuku ink. So 
I think the little mini bottles work out perfectly for me. And then I have the Atramentous Lavender Ink. I really wanted that one. Lavender is my favorite scent. And uh, the I really like the idea of scented ink. That goes back to Victorian times. And so I have that one. That's a, a favorite. And then I have Diatramentous Document Ink in Fog Gray. And that's a nice, uh, beautiful color. And then I have a Diatramentous Fur Ink. That's another scented ink. Very lovely. I wanted that one for Christmas. So I will be using that one soon. I have Diamine. Uh, this is a shimmer ink. It's beautiful. So you can kind of see the shimmer at the bottom there. Takes a little bit to mix, but uh, oh, this is just an absolute beautiful ink in night sky. I love that one. I'm just very glad that I bought that one. And then I have two small Diamine bottles. These are plastic bottles, but a good size. And I have Diamine Pumpkin and Poppy Red because I wanted an orange and a red ink. And then I have the J Urban Bouton d'Or, uh, which is a yellow ink. It's very pretty. The Noodler's Bulletproof Black that I mentioned earlier. And then I have the Diamine in Twilight. I'm really into Diamine inks. So as you can see, Diamine and Deatramentis are my two favorite ink brands, I think. And then I have this one, which is the Han Manyo ink in Haha, ha, which is a sailor ink. So this is my first sailor ink. And this is a new acquisition of this year. So it's a really pretty color and actually changes a little bit as you use it, kind of oxidizes. Um, so maybe I can do a demonstration in a different video. And then I have two full bottles of Diamine ink, and one is Ancient Copper and Oxblood. That actually came in a two-pack um, when I bought it. And then I have three Noodlers inks here. This is Cactus Fruit, Bay State Blue, which is actually my husband's. He really wanted a nice, intense blue ink. So uh, I have this as part of kind of like my collection. Um, but he bought it to use and uh, I get to use it too. And this is Noodler's Walnut because I wanted a brown ink. So as you can see, I pretty much have it in one of every color that I wanted to write with. And I think aside from buying one other black ink, I have my eye on a Diatramentous Archive or Document ink in black. Um, I don't really have uh, any more need to buy inks. So this will last me a long time and they look very pretty displayed on my shelf. And if you have any sort of questions on any of these inks, let me know. I do have samples, but uh, I just wanted to show you the full bottles of ink and why I chose them. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.